When we design mechanics for games, we typically work with three major genres of elements that we are going to work with in the design of the game. So we have action elements, adventure elements, and strategy elements. So in action elements, we typically try to measure the player's ability to react to the game events in real time, so player's reaction time. In adventure elements, we are going to measure a player's ability to reveal information about the game. So it can be the solution for a puzzle, a character plot, it can be the progress through a uh, storytelling, so the mystery, uh, if the player can choose the right choice of dialogue and so on and so forth. And with strategy elements, we are going to measure the player's ability to manage resources. And one of the best ways to do that is to have a health bar, because the health bar will be ultimately will be the ultimate resource that players will have to manage. So all the actions of the players will have to ensure that the player's health will be below a given amount. So typically zero, right? Because when the health resource uh, depletes, so it, when it reaches zero, it means that players didn't manage to uh, manage their resource. They, 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 were, they were not able to manage their health resource. So I have here the scene, which is from my course. So this is the project of my upcoming course. Grot Essential Adventures, in which we are going to create a dialogue system, a quest system, so on and so forth, so you can tell the stories that you want to your players using the systems that we are going to create. You'll be able to engage players into your game by telling them amazing stories. So you have a story that you want to tell, and using this course, you are going to be able to tell this story. But here in this project, uh, I have a, a very simple combat system. So we have a quest to defeat Ares. So we have go to Mars, we need your help, Ares our guardian went berserk, could you defeat him please, I will grant you an upgrade to your spaceship, and if we say yes, Ares will spawn and we have to defeat him. So you can see that here we have some action elements because this is an action based combat, so I have to react to the game events in real time, but we also have some um, strategy elements, so you can see I have a health bar and a an energy bar the energy bar will give players the ability to sh the energy resource will give players the ability to shoot and to teleport so these are the major actions that players can do to manage the health resource because Ares the enemy is a threat to the health resource Ares will attack the player deplete uh, decreasing the health resource and players have to keep this health resource above zero so if they don't dodge Ares attacks uh, they will lose the game, so you can see that when the health resource goes below zero, uh, the, the game is over and players lose the, the, the run in the game. And this is possible because I created a game resource, so this is the main component that I use for, strategy, for my strategy games. The health resource is a component that provides a given amount, a given number, that we can operate with other classes. So I have a current amount and a maximum amount, which is exported, so I can change this maximum amount through the interface. But the current amount is meant to be operated through three major methods, which is the set current amount and the increase amount. And you can see that in the set current amount um, method, I have two signals that I emit based on the extremes of this resource. So if it is below one, so it means that it is zero, I uh, notify other classes that this resource depleted. And if it is above or equal to the maximum amount, I tell other, I notify classes that this resource replenished. And I also provide these two methods to interface the operations of other classes in these values. So in the current amount value. So I have the increase, which is going to increase the current amount, and the decrease, which is going to decrease the current amount. And to express that to players, to create the health bar and the energy bar, I created this game resource user interface, which is basically a, a control node which has a texture rect. So you can see that this is going to display the game resource icon. So here in the health Y, I have this heart, which communicates that this is the player's health and in the energy I have this circle which is a representation of the sun uh, in my game we gather energy from the sun so this is the icon that I'm using here and I have a progress bar and this scene here its main responsibility is to interface the current value from the game resource that it is linked to 
and this progress bar so that I display this value to players. So if you open the script, this is basically all it does. It links a resource to the progress bar using the current uh, change signal and the max change signal. So it connects the current change to the set value of the progress bar, the set value method, and the max change to the set max value uh, method of the progress bar. And it updates the values accordingly after that. And the way that we can actually concretely apply this to actually use these classes, so I'm going to open the player scene here, is by using these uh, interfaces, so I have the health UI and the energy UI directly in the player scene. In the health user interface, I point to the health resource, which is this one. In the energy user interface, I point to the energy resource, which is again, this one right here. And to interface, the to, to actually manage these resources, I use the energy recharger, which is a class uh, which is a class that allows players to recharge en the energy by keeping the X key pressed. So the way that I do that is to have this recharge signal here connected to the energy resource increase method. So if you open this, it's going to be this thing right here. So this is the logic behind it. To decrease the player's health, I connect the hurt area to the damage signal to the health resource decrease method so this is how i'm going to decrease the player's health uh, if you don't know how this hurt box and how hit boxes work in in my game i will put a link to the description and also in this card right here and probably at the end of this game of this video so you can check out is a very simple combat system which you have a hit box that deals damage to a hurt box and the hurt box will process damage from the hit box and that's basically it. Equipped with this game resource, you can create a lot of things. So you can create a score system, which is what we are going to do in the next video. A score system is one of the main weapons that game designers use to tell players if their actions are in accord to our design. So we can punish them or reward them with a score system. So this is going to open up a range of new videos that I want to talk about in this channel. So we're going to see game design patterns such as the static engine, the dynamic engine, the static friction, the dynamic friction, so on and so forth. So this is going to be a very cool experiment here. And also you can create an RTS game. So let's say that instead of having a health resource, a health game resource and an energy game resource, you have lumber, you have gold, meat or food that you want to measure. You can also use the same game resources, but instead of having it connected to a progress bar, you can use a label that will display the maximum amount available for players to use and the current amount of lumber or food or gold that players have available to, let's say, create a, a building or anything of this kind. So this is a very versatile component that you can use to create elements of strategy in your game. If you want to subscribe to get notified about my my upcoming course, it will be released probably uh, on the second week of May. Uh, I'll put a link in the description so you can get access to this game resource, game resource interface scene as well. You can download the whole uh, scene file and uh, the scripts. I'll put a freebie, a link to a freebie so you can download these uh, files. And at the bottom of this uh, post, you'll be able to subscribe so you can get notified about my Godot Adventure Essentials course that is about to release. I hope that you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. Keep developing and until the next one. Bye-bye.